Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks and you're checking out a tutorial for ADSR sounds. In this video, we're going to be looking at how you can create arpeggiated or sequenced sounds inside of Serum. So the uh, reason why I thought this video would be kind of cool is there's not a proper or dedicated ARP or sequencer inside of Serum, so I thought I would show you how you can do it using the LFOs. So without further ado, let's play this little demo real quick. <laughs> All right, so that track that I zoomed in on is the ARP sound, and you'll notice if I pull up my piano roll in Logic, this is Logic X with a, with a skin, if you're curious, um, you'll notice that it is just one note, so it's a sequenced ARP sound. So to do this in Serum, I'm going to show you what it kind of looks like just so you can get an overview instead of showing you each individual step separately. I am going to show you that, but I thought it would make more sense to do it like this, so just bear with me here. What we're gonna do is anytime you want to for anytime you have a synth that doesn't have a ARP or a sequence and you want to create that type of sound in it, you need to see if you can manipulate the pitch or modulate the pitch of some part of either the oscillator, the the actual master output pitch of the sound, or or the main pitch that's controlling that's going to the master output rather. And if you have that option and you have something as flexible as the LFOs in Serum, you can usually create something pretty cool. So basically, the thought process is creating like a MSEG or you know multi-stage envelope type of shape with one of the LFOs and then modulate that into the pitch of your oscillators or oscillator and then kind of clean that sound up with another LFO. So you'll, you'll notice here that I've used two different destinations of modulation with LFO1. This is what's actually moving the pitch. I know it looks a little bit weird but we're going to talk about that. And LFO2 is creating the kind of gated feel. So if I, if I bypass this, listen. We just have this. Right? So you can see as, this, as these lines move up and down in this grid, it's changing the pitch. So here's, here's, a high, here's the, the, the highest it goes. Right? And this one's just kind of creating a little bit of bounce. So let me let me bypass this one. So now we've bypassed both LFO1 and LFO2, and it's just a straight, you know, normal sound. I'm playing it on my keyboard right now. So let me turn on LF2, LFO2 again. Right? I use this, and this is if you're coming from Massive, you can think of it as like using a performer to clean up certain elements of your gated or rhythmic type sounds. I'm just modulating the level of the oscillator and the cutoff filter. So if, if we remove, you know, if we turn this down, you know, it's mainly coming from the, the filter for sure. So that's really all there is to it. Now let's go to a new preset, or let's go to a, we'll zero out the actual movement in this preset. So what I'm gonna do here is we're just going to make sure we remove all destinations. And I just, we're just gonna start with a pretty, pretty basic LFO shape here, uh, just a flat line. All right, so it's not an ARP, right? So when you're when you're using Serum, you can create with the L, with the LFOs, you can create as many points really as you want. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create a point and we're going to pitch this to the grid. You'll notice that I'm I'm, I'm in the grid here. We're going to go all the way up with it, okay? And then just to hear how the pitch goes down, we're going to have it drop one, two, three, four grid marks down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to modulate the coarse pitch of the coarse pitch of my sound, and I want it at, let's just start at 19 for the amount. You can change this depending on your key and your needs, but this is usually a pretty good starting point. Do you see how it just dipped down? Okay, well that wasn't a very musical value, so let's actually take, let's actually take this up a little bit. Okay, so if, if you go a whole grid mark down, you'd think, okay, you, you gotta kinda figure out what is the, you know, is it going in semitones, what's it doing, let's listen. Okay, that is not a semitone. Um, that that's let's listen to. So see how I'll zoom in on this in the video. That is kind of hard to see, right? That is not easy to um, to look at. It's 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 quite it's quite hard to see. Um, if I tur turn the grid down, you can see that I'm just a little bit, a little bit down from my starting point. That's actually a half step. So it is a little bit tricky you know, to actually get this to go where, to go where exactly where you want it. Um, but once you kind of get the hang of it, it really isn't that hard to kind of manipulate this and, 
and dip things down. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go half step and then we'll go more. Let me get this back to a half step. And then we'll take this one and we'll go another half step. So you can see that you can or you can start to hear and see that that is turning into kind of, you know, I'm just working down the the So there's 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 two steps. Right? So it's kind of in between those lines. All right, so that may not be necessarily in the key of everything that I have going on, but let's take this 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 middle one down a little bit here. If we can take this down with it. Right? So you can see that you get big you can get big differences in pitch here. All right, so let's take this back up and let's actually move, let's move this one down. All right, so that one sounds kind of cool. So then let's take, uh, let's take this one. to be kind of a square shape and we will take it down right so that's kind of getting back to the pattern that you heard in the beginning and it's kind of cool you can see do you see how this is these are straight lines those will be pretty quick um quick note shifts this one where it slides up it'll actually slide the pitch listen to this it's kind of cool so you can get some really cool effects with that so you can actually change the bar length of course So I'm not going to recreate that exact sound from the beginning because it's it, it's kind of you're going to see me just sliding around and doing all that sort of stuff trying to find the exact pitch. But I do want to show you that you can do proper arps by changing the rate. All right. So once you get the the pitch and kind of manipulate it and it's it's playing what you want to in the LFO, you can then use a second LFO to to actually control the sound. So I would take this and pop it on my cutoff. You know, and then this, this could be a different value than your actual pitch, pitched LFO that's creating the difference in pitch. And you get some pretty cool sounds or effects. So. There's how you can use Serum to create arpeggiated sounds. You're just going to use one of the LFOs, modulate the coarse pitch of your oscillators or oscillator, and then play around with these different values. Remember that it's not, there's not, you know, these boxes don't represent anything really musical in the sense of semitones or even half steps. You kind of got to find and play with those, but you can get some really cool things and add some really cool elements to your sounds in Serum. If you have any questions or comments, let me know below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Echo Soundworks. I'll see you next time.